a quick and dirty video tonight. Um, I yeah, wasn't expecting it so quickly. I dropped off some stuff at the platers at um, 9.30 this morning. By 12 o'clock I'd had a phone call to say the parts were finished. Apparently they were a bit quiet today. So a shout out to Wayne and the crew at the platers in Alton. That was a superb job. All the parts look fantastic again. Look at that heat shield. It's just something else, isn't it? Um, so tonight's job is a fairly quick one. Um, I've dug the um, airbox that uh, I cleaned um, a few weeks ago uh, out ready so I can fit the heat shield tonight. Um, the other bits and pieces are just going to wait for another night because I'm going to the pub. And the other thing is these two screws here. These came off of uh, this, which I painted yesterday. This is the um, the bracket that allows the steering lock mechanism to um, uh, lock against the frame and look at that this is one of the pieces I sent back for plating because it had some weird stains on it and uh, that's come up really nice I have also had a call from the powder coaters to say that um, that the frames ready for collection so that's another piece of interest in you so things are going to get a bit hectic I think from now on um, as I still have lots of sub assemblies and bits and pieces to look into I don't know why I'm showing you this. This is such a simple job. It hardly warrants a video, does it? To unless, of course, I um, royally screw it up. And there we have it. One nice shiny airbox with one very nice shiny heat shield. Um, you can see where I had to panel the out the bottom of the heat shield, I don't know if it shows up probably well on a big screen but it's not perfectly flat but to be honest this is hidden behind the exhaust it just means it looks nice should you be able to get any glimpse of it um, and it looks a damn sight better than it did before excellent there you go nice black shiny with nice shiny studs to go with it. Perfect. And now we're down to um, just loosely fitting these caps. Um, I want to make sure that the bolts fit. Hopefully. One, two, oh, I'm missing a washer. Well, never mind. Okay, that's good. I wonder if I've got a washer in my miscellaneous. There were a few bits, but I'm not sure where they go. So that's one. Now I'm not putting these up in any particular orientation, I'm just fitting them so that they're now part of a unit. The sub assembly. I could have done this job days ago, weeks ago even, whenever I last painted stuff. But uh, stuff, I'll just let stuff harden up a bit before I started assembling it. Now then, have I got a miscellaneous washer somewhere? This one will do for now, until I find the right one. I have a feeling I know where I've put it. So there we go. That is the what is it so there we go that is the um, bar clamps mated to the top yoke um, all in a nice matching shiny two pack black gloss so that's looking very smart that should look nice once it gets some bars in there which reminds me I must paint the handlebars at some point um, but I've had a few ideas about that so we'll look into it in a bit